Welcome back to another GeekWatt video, and today I'm going to be discussing whether building an ITX form factor system is not only a good idea, but a viable option and suggestion for you personally. So let's start off with the pros and the cons. There are many pros, the main reason being size. This tends to be the main reason for building an ITX system in the first place. They are conveniently sized, fit in any sized office, living room or entertainment centre, and defy the common misconceptions that PCs are huge, when really they're not. With this major side advantage, there also comes many compromises, the main and most significant of these being airflow and heat. By having the same amount of components in a much smaller environment, you're creating much more heat in a much smaller space. This also isn't helped by the fact that ITX chassis are much cooler, subsequently have are much smaller, sorry, subsequently meaning they have much less fan, fan mounting points, meaning less fresh cool air in and less hot air out. This stagnant standing heat means the temperature of the air the components have access to is naturally much higher, meaning they have a hotter overall temperature. Just something to keep in mind because of thermal throttling. Don't let these put you off, and whilst that may now be hard to contemplate, you're going to have less PCIe devices, i.e. graphics cards, because of ITX's one PCIe slot, and whilst heat is always bad in a computer, many components are rated to very high temperatures. And while some of AMD's much hotter running GPUs may have to be ruled out, some of Nvidia's latest releases on their Maxwell architecture run very cool and are rated up to temperatures of 95 Celsius. So that's the pros and the cons. Now my thoughts. Should you build and buy ITX or not? For enthusiasts, no. There's much less room for key editing and enthusiast components such as large amounts of RAM, SLI and crossfire setups, along with masses of water cooling. But for a small NVIDIA game stream PC, HTPC, living room, gaming or simply a small office gaming room, they're a great option. If you have found this GeekWatt video helpful, do remember to like, comment, rate and please do subscribe and we'll see you in the next GeekWatt video. The video you've just been watching is all part of GeekerWatt's Big Summer. Check the links in the description below for 50 videos over 42 days and 6 weeks. The idea is to get loads of tech related content up from tech terminology, tech reviews, tech news, PC builds, uh, tech topics, along with a load of Windows 10 content and my budget build guide 2015 and how to build a, ba a gaming PC 2015 tutorials. We'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video and I'll see you over on Twitter with hashtag GeekerWatt's Big Summer.